Yo. Good morning. It's now season three. We made it to the third month of our game. And we got some new characters. We got some new characters. So it is about time for another tier list. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. You know, it's been a little bit of fluctuation in the tier list, you know. As you see now, there's no more Iverson tier. We got to, we got to. You know, we got a little bit of motherfuckers that can compete with him. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, first character on the list, Arashi. Arashi's the first character on the list. Um, Arashi's not terrible. She's not insanely good, I would say. Um, I would say she's about the second best power forward in the game at the moment. Best, best scorer at the power forward position, for sure. So, where I would put her, I would put her A tier. Um, if you have a Rashi, you like scoring with the Rashi, please use a Rashi. Simple as that. Go ahead and use her. She's not terrible by any means. She's just not that good. She's been out for a little bit. People understand how her skills work, so she can sometimes be stopped a bit easy. So that's like how that works with that character. Next character on the list, Bang. Uh, C tier. He's just not that good, but he's free. So he's going to get used a lot. He's just not really that good, though. He's been out since the start of the game. Everyone knows how he works. It's not hard to block him. Not hard to get steals from him. He's just he's just easy, honestly. Next character on the list, Clara. As you guys know, I did a free-to-play solo queue series. The character that I used was Clara. Clara's much better than I thought she was. She's much better than I thought she was, but... She's nowhere near like the best big or anything in the game. Nowhere near. Um, I would still put her in B tier though. B tier. I would say she is the second or third best solo big in the game. Like if you're solo queuing, I feel she's one of the best options for that. Just because, you know, her her scoring options, they're very good. You get a rebound, you can instantly hook it back up. Great skill when it goes in. Even when it doesn't go in, it's still a little fine. Um, next character on the list, we have Unjung, our beloved Dash character, and and this in this state she's not that good, and I'll tell you why she's not that good. You guys just don't know how to dash. It's just simple as that. You got you you guys don't know what you're doing with dashing at all. Like she's kind of pretty clueless about it. Just a little bit clueless. You guys don't know what you're doing with it. But it's okay. You know, it's alright. The game's still early. Eventually you can learn. But as of right now, you know, she can still get you some dubs. I put her B tier. Not bad at all. Um, Hyujung. Just another character is just not that good. Um She's been out for a while. The only thing that she really has is her double clutch. Most people know how to block that double clutch now. So it's like she's just not that good anymore. She's just not. So I'm going to put her in C tier. Um, Jane. Jane is next. A thing about Jane is I don't I don't know if her quick rebound works correctly. I don't know if it's a bug because it's sometimes you will get like every board with the quick rebound and then it's other times it just rolls down your body and with that like inconsistency she has to be put in c tier because she's just way too inconsistent on the rebounds because you there could be one game you know you 12 to 1 someone the next game you're you get 12 to 1 because the ball is just rolling down your body and it does not make sense so that's just how that works it's just not that good um king is up next for free point guards i would say king is the best by far and it's not close um i wouldn't say he's the best by any means necessary he's not but he's okay i'd put him in b tier um he's not bad at all still still decent um but no one really wants a pg on their team much anymore that's changing a little bit. I'll get to that later. Um, next character on the list, Kokichi. I personally love Kokichi. I think Kokichi could be really good. 
but he's not because you people don't know what you're doing. So as right now, Kokichi isn't trash. Sadly, he shouldn't be in trash, but <sighs> you just, you guys, man, you guys just don't know what you're doing sometimes, but it's okay. Um, next character, Kurosawa. Kurosawa's not good at all. That's just why he doesn't get played. He's pretty bad. I wouldn't say he's trash, but he's definitely C tier. He's just not good. It's not much that he can do. I mean, he does have like the double clutch dunk or whatever from the side. That's about it. That's pretty much what he brings to the table. So, not much at all. Next character, Kenny. <sighs> Kenny is so good, but you guys do not use him correctly. You guys have never used him correctly from the jump. Kenny is supposed to be used as a dash character. That's how Kenny's supposed to be used. He's not supposed to be a dribbler. He was never supposed to be a dribbler like that. If you look at his skill set, it is perfect for dash. He has a running fadeaway quick jumper. It is literally perfect for dash, but no one uses him for dash. Please, if you have Kenny, if that's your score, if that's your main score, please use him to dash. Like, please, it just makes sense for the character. It makes the character so good. He's so good if you use him correctly. Kenny is a good character. He's still a great character. It's just no one uses him correctly. But Kenny goes in A tier because Kenny is good. It's just people are bad. Like, please read your skills. Just please read them. Like, he's not a dribbler. He's not supposed to just sauce around the court like that. That's not what he's supposed to do in this game. Sorry, this isn't trio, but that's not what he's supposed to do. But next character, Lily. Trash. We're not even gonna go into detail. She is trash. She's useless. Probably, probably the most useless character in this game. Honestly, she's terrible. Um, next character on the list, Maple. Another character that is not good. I don't think Maple's been good, like, at all. Even at the beginning of the game, I don't think Maple was that good because you can block Maple from 100 feet away. That's just, it's just not good. It's just not. I think Maple's honestly C tier. I don't think Maple's good at all. Um, never thought he was that good. But, you know, what do I know? Um, next character on the list, Ming. Ming is better than Maple been saying it since the game started but it's whatever uh ming's b tier though ming's pretty decent you know ming's not bad so yeah if you got a free if out of all the free characters i would say ming is the best easily the best so if you literally don't want to spend a dime unjung or ming so those would be your perfect options if you want to play sf or sg those are the options if you don't want to spin. Next character on the list, Nina. Nina's okay. She's nothing special. She's got pull-up jumper, but the pull-up jumper's not that good. So Nina is B tier. Not good at all, but not super terrible where she goes in a C or trash. She's just not that good. Um, next character on the list, Rusio. Uh, I like to call him Rusi Goat. He's uh, sadly he's not that good though. He's okay, but he's just not that good. Um, but I don't think he's trash, though. He can compete a little bit on the big man end. So I'd say C tier for him. Um, next character on the list, Shik. Who, to me, is the most overrated character in the game. But I don't think Shik is that good. But the bigs that we have just aren't good. So it makes Shik look really good. But I don't think Shik is S tier. I think Shik is A tier. I do not think he's S tier. Um, we all know about Shik. I don't really need to explain much about Shik. Almost everyone still uses Shik, but he's not that good. Um, Shaq. It's another character. Shaq is better than Shik. I'm sorry to say that, but it is the truth. Shaq is better than Shik. I've been telling you people this from out the gate. Shaq's better than Shik. That's just how it is. He's better. He's a bit better. Like, it's okay, though. It's okay that he's better. He just is. But he still goes into A tier. <clears throat> Rattini, um, trash. Just not really viable anymore. 
like I said, only certain PGs can play. She's not one of them. So, that's just about it with her. She just can't really compete at the moment. Uh, same thing with Yubuki. He's just, he's just outclassed by other scores. He's just, he can't do anything. He's just, he's bad. Like, that's just all it is. He's bad. And now we get to the higher tier characters. Iverson, S tier, that's never going to change. I've said it before. If you've bought Iverson, you honestly don't ever have to buy another score again if you don't want to. It's completely your choice if you do want to, but you do not have to ever. That's just what it is. Uh, Miyagi, our new beloved point guard. Miyagi is great. Miyagi is a great, great, great character. Point guards are viable with Miyagi. You can play point guard with Miyagi and not troll. So, with all the point guards that are coming out, I would say Miyagi is probably the fourth best one out of all of them. So, if you want a point guard, uh, you can you can buy Miyagi and you wouldn't really have to buy another point guard again with with him. So, Miyagi's great, man. I'd, I'd purchase Miyagi if you like playing point guard. If point guard's your main position, I would get Miyagi. Next character on the list, Natsuki. Uh, best big in the game right now. It's not really close. The reason he is, he has rebound height. He can jump higher than everyone else. Much higher than everyone else. He's a fucking horse. He's great. Great character. Um, not really too much to say about that. There's, you know, a couple people that say, you know, he's a power forward. He can't rebound like that, blah, blah, blah. Yes, he can. He's the best rebounder in the game, and it's not even close. Next character on the list, um, Nequel. There's been a lot of chat about Nequel. Nequel is good. Nequel is a good character. Where I'd put Nequel, um, Nequel, he's an A tier, by the way. Um, he's, I, I'd say he's the best solo queue big, easily, because he has, he has a Rashi's alt as his normal dunk. Um, also, every time he scores. It goes towards his passive, which increases his rebound. Seems a lot of people don't really read, you know, his skills or his passive or anything. Nequel is good. It is a lot of people saying that Nequel is trash. He's this, he's that. Nequel is not trash. If you want to buy a big and you don't want to spend as much on Natsuki, buy Nequel. I think you can get him for $35 or $40 after you buy the advanced battle pass. It gets you to like level 50. If you buy the levels, I think it costs like 30 or $40. Boom, you got Nikwell. He's not bad. He's not a bad character at all. It's just like the one guy that, that I think has him, he just isn't that good. Or he's probably just learning the character, which is what we all do. We all learn the characters. When I, first, when I first played Natsuki the first game, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I, I was confused. I wasn't getting no damn boards. I'm like, oh my God, this character might be trash. But he's not like... He's not trash. Nequel is really good. Give him a chance, please. He's good. I promise. I promise you he is good. Next character on the list, T-Mac. Not much to say about T-Mac. T-Mac is fucking ridiculous. He's broken. He's going to stay broken unless he gets nerfed. He's on that fucking Iverson tier. He's God. Like, he's him. And then, last but not least, um, Hage Young. Uh, second best point guard that we currently have in our version of the game. She's nowhere near Miyagi though, but she's not terrible. You know, she can compete. If you play her as point guard, you're not really trolling. Um, I put her in A tier. She's pretty good. Like she's actually really good. Um, but that's pretty much list for the season three, uh, tier list. If we get more characters, of course I'll release a season four one, but how it's going at the beginning of the game. Well, beginning of season three. This is the tier list. This is what I think is indefinite at the moment. You can change a couple things or whatever. Of course, you could put Jane or Kurosawa in trash tier, Rusio in trash tier. But I think um, B, A, and S, I think those are like uh, pretty indefinite. Uh, those are, you know, where I'd put everyone just from my view, my standpoint. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. All right, see you.